Welcome to the Cisco Carly Center training series. My name is Lila Rousseau and I'm a principal architect at Cisco. Today we are going to talk about a new and exciting capability within SWIM, software and image management in Cisco Carly Center, formerly known as Cisco DNA Center. This capability allows us to arrange the order of upgrade of network devices within the single workflow. The automation of the upgrade of software in network devices is one of the most popular applications in Cisco Carly Center because it provides a lot of value from the get-go. It allows an efficient upgrade of the infrastructure that helps maintain consistency of versions in a very scalable way. SWIM helps enforce security compliance by ensuring that the network devices are running up to date and secure code, which in turn reduces the risk of vulnerabilities. Lastly, the workflow is very comprehensive supporting capabilities like patching, integration with IT service management tools like ServiceNow, and pre and post checks for both distribution and activation. Now, until now, when triggering the software update for the network devices, Cisco Carly Center will do so in parallel. What's new, what we are introducing today, is the ability to change this default behavior and allowing the network administrators to define within a single workflow which devices we need to upgrade in sequence and what devices we need to upgrade in parallel. Why is this useful? Well, this option gives us the ability to upgrade the devices in bulk while providing the flexibility and control to define how the activation of the images will happen. So let's see an example. Let's say that we have a branch office like the one that I have here, and we want to define in a single workflow to upgrade all the switches. However, we have a distribution switch in this branch. We also have a few Catalyst 3K switches. We have some Cat 9K switches. So in our plan, and this is just an example of a plan, we want to configure a workflow that will allow us to upgrade the Catalyst 3K switch, which is deployed in the distribution first. We only want to kick off the upgrade of the CAD3K stack in the access once the distribution is finished. So we want to do that second. And once these two switches are done with the software upgrade, then I want to upgrade my four CAD9K switches in parallel. And the other thing that we want is to define all this in a single workflow and that the different steps should happen with no manual intervention. So let's check the demo to show how to do this. Let's upgrade the network devices for our whole branch. For that, we are going to use a guided workflow. It's the image update workflow. And the first part is to just define a name for the particular task. And that was going to be followed by selecting the devices that we want to upgrade. In our case, all the devices are the switches in a branch. It's called the T branch. So we are going to select the T branch and within the T branch, we are going to select all the devices that show up here because these are the ones that are eligible for upgrade. From a distribution perspective, we are not going to do anything. Cisco Catalyst Center has the ability to decouple the distribution of the image and the activation, and we leverage this capability in this demo. The images have been distributed and they're all in the flash of every single network device that we are going to be upgrading. So then we are going to move to the activation window. This is where we can specify pre-checks, 
post checks, system checks, and we can also create our own custom checks. This is where we can accommodate the order of devices to the requirements of our own environment. In this case, we have multiple switches. I have one of those switches being a distribution switch. So I want to specify that the upgrade of the distribution switch will have to go first followed by the upgrade of uh, Carly's 3650 stack that I have in the branch. And once that's done, the upgrade of the four Carly's 9K switches will follow and all of those are going to be done in parallel. So I want to be able to define all this within the workflow so that the actual steps will require no manual intervention. So first I'm going to select the devices that I want to upgrade in a sequential way. And these are my two 3650 switches. Again, one is distribution, the other is an access switch. I then will select the option to move to sequential update. And what this does is that it's going to move the switches to the next tab, which is the sequential tab. So I see my two switches now showing up there. The sequence of upgrade, it's going to happen in the order you see it in this list. So if we want to reorder, we can select the option of reorder list. We are going to leverage the opportunity to reorder the list. We are going to select the option to do so because we want to upgrade the distribution 3650 first, followed by the 3650 in the access. There's one more option that we can tweak in terms of ordering. And this is whether we want to do the sequential upgrade first followed by the parallel or we want to do it the other way around. So if we choose the other option, the four Cat9K switches that I have in the parallel list will go first and then it's going to be followed by the sequential list in sequence. In our example, we wanted to do the distribution switch first followed by the access 3650 stack. So we are going to select this particular order. Next, we need to decide what to do upon failure. So there's this option to terminate the update if there's any failure in the devices that are in sequential order. We can turn it on or turn off this option. Once that's done, we move to the next portion of the workflow, which is the scheduling of the distribution and activation. In our example, it's only the activation because we've done the distribution. We can schedule for later time or do it now as we are going to do it in this demo. And we can also optionally uh, set up the Catalyst Center platform to clean up the flash ac after activation. The next part is just a summary of everything that we've configured throughout the workflow. And when we scroll down, we have the specific of the device ordering. Again, once again, in our example, we are doing the sequential devices first, followed by the parallel devices. Last step is just to submit. And then we also have the option of following the progress of the tasks. And we can see that one task has been triggered and that's the activation of our 3650 distribution switch. And we can see that the other tasks are in waiting mode. So all, our all of the other devices need to wait for the upgrade until the first device in the sequential order is done. We have different filters. So when we click on progress, those are the tasks that are in progress. And now we have a new option that shows the tasks that are in waiting mode. So for right now, we are going to wait for this activation to finalize 
So we will see how Cisco Catalyst Center will automatically trigger the next task, which is the up upgrade and activation of our Catalyst 3650 stack that is deployed in the access. So now things are at 97% and very shortly, like right now, we can see how the activation of next switch has been triggered. Now, we see that we have then one task that has been successfully completed, which is the activation of our distribution switch. We see a second task, which is currently in progress, which is the current 3650 stack. And we have the other four that are in waiting mode, which is the activation of our four Cat9K that we will trigger in parallel once the upgrade of the 3650 stack is finalized. So we are waiting for that to happen. And again, this is, will be triggered automatically without any manual intervention. So the activation is at 97% and very shortly, we will see how there it goes. This has been finalized and the activation in parallel of the four Cat9K switches is happening. Our four Cat9Ks are finalized. So we now are in the success tab and we can see all the tasks within the workflow that have been successfully completed. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, please visit the Cisco Catalyst Center YouTube channel for more videos, including a few specifically on software and image management. Thanks for watching.